Well, welcome back. Kendra here with us. Uh, active radar right now. We also mm. got some uh, watches out there yeah. as well. It just doesn't yeah. end. No. Unfortunately, we got a break on Sunday, which was nice. That after was the good. snow on Saturday, the flooding on Thursday. Mm. I mean, it's just been crazy. <laughs> and what we have coming is not an epic rainfall event, but it's just going to be on top of areas that saw so much rain. We saw Carrie walking around there in Pickens County where the ground is just completely saturated. And we're going to continue to see more rain come on that and it's not going to soak in. So there's going to be a lot of runoff and that's going to be our big issue. That's why a flash flood watch is out until 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Most of the, the rain is going to be done. At least the heavy rain should be wrapping up toward midday early afternoon tomorrow, but there could be some residual effects into Tuesday evening. So here's a look right now. We have gray skies at Lake Cartwell and just light rain coming down at this point, but the heavier downpours are starting to approach in northeast Georgia and these still aren't that torrential, but they could start to cause some issues, especially for those areas that are so saturated. So again, it's not going to take much. Just stay weather aware. If you live in one of those areas that saw so much flooding, be ready for a little bit more going into the next couple of days. Here's that steady stream of moisture. It's moving through the Atlanta area right now, and that's where they're going to be the most prone to flooding. In fact, we're looking at a high level risk of flooding for central Georgia, including the Atlanta area. And then it goes down as it goes into our area. But we're still at a moderate risk for it in our far western sections. And this is where we were on Thursday of last week. So gives you an idea. It's a serious situation still uh, looking at two to three inches as you head toward the western upstate into northeast Georgia could see locally higher amounts than this. And then as you move off toward the east, it's going to go down, but still a pretty good soaking for Greenville and uh, Anderson as we're expecting potentially around two inches. So I'd say one to three anywhere in this yellow zone encompasses a lot of our bigger towns, Asheville, uh, Spartanburg, Greenville, Anderson. But Pickens, Clemson, far western North Carolina, two to four plus inches. Some spots could get over four inches with this. That won't be everywhere, though, but it'd be a localized areas where we get heavier downpours and then much less as you head farther to the east. So here we go. 8 p.m. tonight, steadier rain coming down. Nothing too torrential, but it's going to be enough to cause ponding of water on the roads. Here's your morning commute. The rain is still out there and aggravating the situation, but it starts to lessen as we head toward 4 p.m. So Tuesday night into Wednesday looks not that bad. A few light showers off and on, but it'll be time for things to drain out, dry out, and they'll have one more opportunity for heavy rain heading into Thursday, but it won't be a long lived situation. It'd be a front that moves through a line of heavy showers Thursday morning, and then it should be done for a little while. We cool down. In fact, Valentine's Day looks pretty nice. We'll get sunshine, but it will be chilly. So if you're heading out on a big date, you'll need your coat um, as temperatures Valentine's night will drop down into the 20s another rain chance by late Sunday into Monday.